Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 378. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And, well, we got a news week for... Well, we, we got news for this week. <laughs> so anyway, let's not dilly-dally and let's jump right into it. So, in today's news, uh, NPR reports on BronyCon. So, if you guys got no idea what NPR is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, NPR is National Public Radio? If I remember right, it's something to do with the states. NPR, something like that. So, anywho, uh, they recently send their guy to BronyCon and report on the news. So, it, it, it's a long write-up. It's a long write-up. But uh, from what I understand, they just are reporting that um, this convention has been going on for nine years now. And since... This is the final season. BronyCon decided to close shop with this one. And there, there's a few choice words or few stories I want to pick up. Um, uh, <coughs> for this one, yes. The promise of a final party drew, drew records, uh, record crowd much as it attracts me. Honestly, I'm shocked that we got to this point we were not expecting to have such a banner uh, banner year <coughs> says current convention chair Shiri Goldberg uh, we were expecting the fandom to be excited and maybe we would double our attendance from last year clocking at the seven or 8,000 range but we did not expect 11,000 people to show up. Oh, that is a lot. And then, uh, from what I understand, there are people from almost around the world. Uh, I know Dan and Doc went there, so uh, that's from Malaysia. And there's a few people from Indonesia and Singapore. And oh, I'm not 100% sure about the Philippine and Thailand. But I know there's a lot of people that represent their own country to be there. So... Technically, this is kind of insane. Uh, <coughs> let's see. Uh, El- Elena Summers, BronyCon's vice chair, says she first approached the show with skepticism, but it won her over with the moment of self-aware comedy. It's the same aw- way you watch Toy Story and even an adult as... I'm sorry... <coughs> Uh, and even as an adult, it's an incredible, enjoyable film because the humor works with children and adults. Pony has always been that kind of clever, and that's why we have about 10,000 people here to celebrate with. And it goes on and on, but yeah, l- l- let's just say that the show here... Um, the the show here is amazing and it attracts a lot of people. It it, it is a magical show. Um, I I saw a quote here that's really awesome. Oh, uh, where now? Where now? Uh, okay, if I'm not saying this, I met a lot of people through it. I met my current boyfriend through it. She says, uh, "Who is this?" She give me a second. Uh, Many people flock to the fandom because it provides a creative outlet, outlet. not to mention a ready market for their artwork. Uh, Clary Rivo <laughs> says she has slipped away from My Little Pony in recent years but became all the way from England with New Pony art for the latest Ronicon. Okay, so that's why I'm going to show this now. And she says, and it's really quite, a, sorry, it's really quite changing, quietly changing my life more than I realized. Yeah. So yeah, NPR really did a good job. Like, they're highlighting the positive of the Brony fandom and so on. I mean, there's positives and negative, but let's take the negative, sorry, let's take the positive and remember for what they are or what it is. And yeah, this this, this news is pretty awesome. This news is pretty awesome. Who wrote this again? Uh, James Perkins. Yeah, good job, good job, right? And next news is 
Polish TV site lists My Little Pony Equestria Gold Holiday Unwrapped. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty interesting. So, remember last news or something like that when we mentioned that, hey, uh, the Sunset's Backstage Pass, that's the last one. And I think uh, who now reported on it and said that, oh no, uh, it's not the last last but for us it's kind of the last um hasbro didn't update us on it anymore so yeah so this one could be one of those situations where the hack is not involved so they got no idea what's going on this could be another company that's holding this or it's one of those situations where hey you got time to do this hmm? i don't know um, this is pretty interesting uh, as for now it's just rumors and speculations because it's not really official until it until we get some kind of trailer. Um, from what I'm reading here, uh, it says that uh, it's a 44 minute Equestria Girls special called uh, My Little Pony Equestria Girls Holidays uh, Ho Girl Holidays Unwrapped. So as for now, we got no idea what this is really. I mean, if it's a another new episode, that's pretty awesome. Yay! Other than that, um, when are you going to be releasing this? If I'm mistaken, somewhere in September. Huh. Yeah. Um, nothing much. And I'm looking here through the commenters, and they aren't saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, according to the website, the Polish version is airing. September 22nd so yeah seems about right uh, you know see, I got no idea what they're doing here it, it, it's interesting because this reminds me of the other one uh, was it the Sunset's Backstage Pass where the episode was shown early in Mexico Spain I'm not sure it was one of those countries like this speaks I think it's Mexico probably so it'll be interesting like I hope that this episode is going to be fun because when you talk about Christmas or holiday, winter holiday specials, uh, the only time when they did this was in the comics where uh, the girls or, yeah, the, the girls suspected that Sunset Shimmer was spreading rumors or leaking secrets about their own personal life and what they do. And Sunset was accused for it and she was bad she, she was sad and whatnot so it could be I, I hope they don't do that because it kind of sucks we all know that sunny here has changed and she is an awesome girl uh what i do hope is that we get some you know what i want a finality for this like i want sunset here to spend time with princess celestia well, you know what? Ask Celeste to come over to the human world. What's stopping her? She is kind of retired or going to retire. So why not come to Equestria High and hang out with Sunset? That'll be fun. Shenanigans, you know? We got two Celestia. That'll be fun. That'll be confusing and fun. And Luna probably. Who knows? I mean, ideas could go on and on and on. Um, maybe you can do the whole... Sunset doesn't believe in Santa Claus because Santa Claus doesn't really exist in Equestria. We do have the reindeers, so that's something to talk about. So, I mean, the possibilities are endless. But I am excited for this. Anything that's related to Equestria Girls, I am excited. I, I can't wait to watch this. If it comes out in Poland and I can watch it, that'll be good. Yay. So, last news for the week. Aha! Burger King is getting on the My Little Pony train with a new set of figures. So, I got no idea what Burger King's thing is. Uh, King Junior meal? Alright. So, it ain't no Happy Meal. So, what this is, um, is you buy a, a King Junior meal and you get a free toy. There's the normal... Uh, for boys, for girls toys. 
and I'm guessing you'll buy a kitty meal and you get it. Simple as that. And where is this now? Is this in the current website? Or, um, let me double check. Okay, BK Meals Junior. I think this is the American site. Yes. Yep, American site. So basically, if you buy a yeah uh, yeah <laughs> you know I'm repeating myself. So this is for the states. Yay, go you! And you'll get the toys. I'm not hundred percent sure if I would recommend you go buying this. Toys looks meh, but hey. It's from Burger King, so that's fascinating. <coughs> uh, there's eight to collect, and I'm I'm guessing the per usual is you'll have a month to collect them all. So you have to buy. Uh, well, you have to go to Burger King for once a week, and there's always a schedule of how long does the toy last and if it's in stock. So yeah. I I've heard stories where you can kind of talk to the person and get all of them at once, but I I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, if you've done it before, you know the person, you know you know an inside man, like you probably can try it. But honestly, I won't recommend that. Like, eh, I, I don't get in trouble, yo. And if you're thinking about, oh no, I don't want to overeat, or I don't want to. Um, let's just say I want to take care of my figure. You can always buy something that's not that bad. I mean, what um, the hamburger, the cheeseburger. Mm, I'm not hundred percent sure how this works. <laughs> okay, King Junior. No, um, King Junior meals. Okay, let's see King Junior meals. P P and J really now. So wait, if I click on this, what will happen? Uh, okay. Mm. Mm, I I I got no idea. I I guess you just get your PB and J's, yeah. So, I, I'm I'm guessing if you want to take care of your calories, you can probably get chicken nuggets, yay, and then that's about it. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. So if you are in, if you have intent to collect this, um, why not, right? You'll probably spend about five bucks. I I don't know. And collect them all, I guess. Hey, and with that, that is the news. So, uh, in all honesty, this week hasn't been anything new. I haven't been doing anything, uh, life changing or weekly change. It's probably the same thing. I've been. Working, playing video games, Magic the Gathering and stuff. Um, blah, 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 blah. yeah, and honestly, it's probably the same. I, I said I wanted to go watch a movie, but I didn't. Couldn't have, didn't have the time. Oh, but I did watch Battle Angel Lila. It was not bad. It was really interesting. Uh, it took me about a few seconds to get used to how Alila looks. You know, the eyes and whatnot. And in all honesty, it was an interesting movie. And from what I understand, the manga is not finished yet. So yeah, the way that they ended the movie was kind of a cliffhanger. But the manga still not done yet, and uh, mm. so yeah, let's just say that it was a fun movie, and I'm glad I've watched it. I I guess I have more to say when we do the movie review for it. Uh, when I mean what I mean is when we do the yearly movie reviews or discussions, that'll be fun. So other than that, um, nothing much really. Uh, how was your week? W what did you do? That's um, sh worth worth to share, worthy to share, or something like that. I don't know. Um, besides me doing. What I'm doing now, I I think I edit a few podcasts. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, I I think that's my week, and I I better I better close this up before I humiliate myself. Yes. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at theambitionsgmail dot com. You can also reach us on the twitters. The show's Twitter account is at theambitionsshow, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. 
and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. Yes, we do have a Facebook page. It's just there. I just noticed it. Yeah. So <laughs> anywho, you can also catch us on from livelife.com. Links are in the show notes. Uh, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, uh, I should have brought up the list now or previously, but I'm doing it now as we say this. Uh, but if I go by memory, I, I think I can thank Amy. Uh, man, no, I, I got the list up. I got the list up. Sorry about that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'd like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Starstream, Master of Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. Don't forget that you guys are the best. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, your gracious host. Thank you for listening to my ramblings. And I'll guys catch you next week. See ya.